This is where it all gets a bit kind of real. <laughs> <laughs> so hi everyone and welcome to the channel. And for me, this is a bit of a surreal moment because it feels like the tables have turned for once in my life. Um, as uh, those who have followed my uh, MPPL journey or my sub 70 journey, uh, it's always me, kind of me being sat on the other side of the table being uh, interviewed by uh, the, the instructor. And as you know, having had my instructor rating, I'm now going to be teaching Michelle and you're now on your sub 70 journey at the moment aren't you do you know why have you just chosen the sub 70 initially um well mainly uh, uh, I just prefer the flex swing to fix so Mark and I've been together for nine years and we've done a few journeys here and there and everywhere and got lost a few times and yeah. um and I just, I've been in Cessna, been in the fixed wing, C42 um, and the flex wing and I just really enjoy the flex wing so yeah. and it just makes sense to be learning when... You work and live on an airfield, why not learn? I work and live and own an air, yeah. in flying yeah. school, so... So, so, th this, um, so what we're going to do with this channel uh, and, and the elements of the videos is give a praise of your journey. The, the highs, the lows, I'm sure there'll be many highs and a few lows. Lots of lows. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not, are you, are hopefully you, not that low. <laughs> are you looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've already yeah. enjoyed um, when I'm obviously going flying about. Yeah. It? But the difference is going to be not in the back seat, you're going to be in the front seat I now. Because yeah, you've already, no, you've already had an air that. experience flight, so we're now looking at effects of controls. Yeah. Um, and we're going to go and do a board brief, and then we're going to go and fly the aircraft. So it's yeah. you sat in the front with... Uh, without your big head in the way. Without my, my big noggin in the way, yeah. <laughs> so uh, so we'll leave this here. We're going to cut straight to the video um, of us flying. A few, just, just a flavour of what's going on. Um, and uh, some, uh, hopefully there'll be some, uh, some, some giggles along the way. And then we're going to come back and do a bit of a debrief after the flight. So join us in a moment. Yeah, do you want to put your gloves on? I have control. <coughs> put off the brake. Is your foot off the brake? Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie, right. So this is where you have control again. You are control on the bar. Okay. Okay, we're going to go through the shift lap. <coughs> Controls. This is where you need to move the bar all the way back. Yeah. All the way forward. And there's no restrictions in that. No. And then we go all the left bar down. Yeah. Okay, left wing down and right wing down. Gently bring us to a stop. That's cool. So T wave is trim, set for takeoff. Wind and weather appropriate. Awareness of other traffic. We're looking on the downwind leg. So we're looking on the downwind leg of the circuit, we're looking on the base leg of the circuit, okay? Um, just making sure that we know what's going on around us, all right? Visors are down and locked, okay? And E is eventualities. That's basically what happens if the engine were to fail on takeoff. So on this runway, it's basically land ahead all the fields to the right. If you can follow me through on the takeoff. So we're going to line up, so foot off the brake. Have you got a brake as well? No, you've, you've got, got it. I don't have a brake. And I always do a final check, and I like it. Are you happy to go flying? Yes. Cool. Just check my seatbelt again. <laughs> <laughs> you checked it twice. Okay, let's do this. So, nose wheel is straight, bar is in the takeoff position. All right, looking yeah. down the runway. Looking no. down the runway, okay? Smoothly applying power, I have control of the aircraft, all right? Full power applied. Full power achieved on the RPM, dipping straight with the rudder. The nose was steering, coming forward on the bar. And we're taking off, keeping straight down the runway, looking for 60 on the speed. Okay, feels to the right are good if we had an engine failure. 60, yep. Yeah. We're good on the climb out. T's and P's, temperatures and pressures are looking good. Look at the temperatures and pressures, they're looking good. Okay, and we're going to fly off towards Alton Towers and JCB, okay? okay. Yeah, that's fine. Get yeah, us out of the circuit, I'm going to get us wings level and I'm going to bring us back into a cruise flight. So we're going to bring the bar back and produce it the power. So the main point I want to get across to you is this attitude, the thing that you're looking at in front of you. Yeah. Where that bar sits in relation to the horizon. Yeah. We've got a perfect horizon today. Alright, perfect horizon. But today is all about the effects. Okay, all about what they do and why. Not how to do it perfectly, about just understanding what they do and how we use them. Okay. 
I'm sorry, Jazz. I think my hair's going to be all in your face. Anyway. No, it's fine. I've got a visor. I've got a visor. It's fine. Yeah. I'm not eating it. Don't worry. <laughs> Follow me through. But basically, we're going to demonstrate what we refer to as hands-off trip. Right. So actually, I want you to let go of the bar. Put okay. the hands in your lap. Okay. Yeah. My hands are off the controls. They're here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now it's got a slight turn to the left, so ignore that. Yeah. We are roughly flying at 60, we are level, we're at 2,000 feet. This is what we refer to as hands-off trim. Yeah. Okay. I don't have to do anything, slight nudge, but I don't have to do anything. Yeah. We're not climbing or descending, we're flying at 60, minimal effort. This is why if you grip, you tend to pull, yeah. and then we fly faster. Yeah. Okay. So it's just relaxing and feel, feeling that hand. Um, but also, where does the bar sit for you? This, this, where does this front strut sit for you in relation to the horizon? Yeah, about there. So that, as you know, that's and that's your attitude. So I know that if I let go of this bar, yeah. I'm going to be flying at 60. Yeah. yeah. All right. And we're going to talk about rolling the aircraft. Yeah. So we want to roll to the right. We pull the right wing down. Yeah. Okay. That right wing is coming down, and we keep pulling, we keep pulling, keep rolling. Yeah. We want to roll to the left. We pull the left wing down. Yeah. And we keep rolling, we keep rolling, and if we centralise the bar, it always stops rolling, and that's what happens, okay? Ah. And then we roll to the right, and then we centralise the bar. Yeah. So what I want to do is, you have control, yeah. is I want you to roll the aircraft just to the right and to the left, and just get a feel for that. You are in control, I've got the power, don't worry about the power, you are in control of the bar. Gosh, it's hard. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Keep pulling. Woo. Okay, pull to the left, pull the left wing down. Pull the left wing down, keep pulling that left wing down, keep pulling, 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 keep pulling. Okay, pull to the right, pull the right wing down, pull the right wing down, and when the front strut gets hold, uh, vertical with the horizon, centralise the bar, yeah? yeah? Now, our picture, where this intersects with the horizon for you, we're doing 60, we're not climbing or descending, we're at, sorry, at 1700 feet, okay? Now, watch what happens when I push forward on the bar. Yeah. 60, level 27. Right, bar coming forward. Nose goes up momentarily. Yeah. Okay, nose comes back down again. Look at our airspeed. Yeah. Okay, we're at 50. It's very stiff in roll. It will be very stiff when you get to fly it. So we're at 60 miles an hour, we're level at just below 2,700 feet. All right? So start going forward on the bar. Push forward on the bar. Push forward, push forward. Nose goes up. Yes, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Yeah. Push, push, I am. push, <laughs> push, push, ah. push, push harder. Really? Push harder, yep. Push harder. Really? There you go, that's it. Now try and roll the aircraft. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's really stiff, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now relax, back to hands off trim. So there we go, we have effects of roll and pitch. Roll turns us, pitch slows us and speeds us up. All right? Right, so I have control. This is where you get the, the, the full effect now, you get the throttle. So can you put your foot on the throttle? You've got both. You've got the power and you've got the bar. What I want you to do is maintain your hands off trim position, as in relaxed, where it is at 60. Yeah. So we're at 60, 2600. Okay, do a quick check. Temps and pressures are good. I want you to go to full power and do nothing with the bar. Full power. The nose pitches up, yeah. we had a momentary increase in airspeed, yeah. our BSI is indicating a climb and we're now gaining attitude, yeah. altitude sorry, okay? But that's our climbing attitude, see where the, uh, the horizon intersects your nose cone? Yeah. Alright, so we're back to 60 level at 2450 feet and then I want you to do is slowly close the, close the uh, throttle to idle, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, close it, there we go, close it, there we go, <gasps> that's fine. Aircraft wants to fly at 60, so it says, well, I need to go in airspeed somehow and uses gravity. Yeah. And now we're descending at uh, 700 feet a minute and the altimeter is indicated. But look at that attitude for the, for the glide, all right? So it's all about this picture. Yeah. Everything is about the attitude, okay? And then if you increase the power to cruise RPM, which is 3839, increase the power, increase the power, increase the power, do nothing with the bar. There we go, nose comes back up. Keep looking at the attitude, keep those wings level. Right. And now we're back at 60, level at just over 2,100 feet. Okay? Right. I have control. You can take your hand and foot off the throttle. And just follow me through on the bar. Follow me through on the bar. How was that? Yeah, good. Yeah, knackered. Uh, yeah, I'm very stiff. <laughs> I can't relax. You can't relax. I can now, but when yeah. I'm doing it, I'm right. Yeah. Just to get us down. Okay? So this is where we 
start our downwind checks, which are full on so nose wheel steering, and this is where you give it a wiggle. Yeah. I do not want you to touch the brake on landing unless I tell you. Yeah. All right. Back that head repeat circuit height. Uh, nose wheel steering, trimmer is set. Trimmer is set, so physically touch the trimmer and make sure it's where it should be. Yeah. yeah, and security. Are you secure? Yes. I'm. You know, have you physically grabbed your lap strap and your helmet? No. Yes, I've got. I've strapped in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that's what I mean. Physically do it. Don't just. Don't just say yes, because you have to make sure you've done it. You might have wiggled or it might have come loose, etc. Okay. We have circuit points that we've got to go to. Everything is about visuals. You don't actually need to see too much of instrumentation. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're turning on to final now. There's two things I talk about, speed and centre line. Centre line of the green runway. We're slightly right, so I'm correcting left. Okay. Checking my 500 foot point. Would I get in? Yes, I would. I'm going to continue. Okay. I've got 60 mile an hour, so I've got speed and I've got a centre line. Speed is 60 and I'm centre line on the runway. Maintaining speed, I'm pulling back on the bar to keep 60. We're on the centre line of the runway, okay? 60, centre line. 60, right. I'm now looking long. Perspective's changing. Looking long. Coming forward on the bar. Coming forward on the bar. And we're down. And now I'm steering with it. You can gently apply the brake. Gently. We want to come off a B. So keep pressing a bit harder. Keep pressing a bit harder. Keep oh pressing God. a bit harder. Harder, 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 harder. <laughs> and now relax. And now relax. I have control. Relax. Relax on the steering. Okay, how was that? Well. Gonna go around Graham. Don't forget you've got the brakes, so just be aware of that. Oh, yeah. So much easier flying it from the front. You'll be doing a lot more flying soon. Right, spring it slowly down. I just, uh, okay, release. Release the brake. wait to get you to do the taxi. <laughs> Standard post-flight debrief. How did that go for you? Ace, loved it. Yeah. Loved being in the front. It's so much different, isn't it? Being in the front to being in, in the back seat and being able to have all that view and and the it picture. Was great. It was lovely. Yeah. 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 Everything yeah. Um, becoming clear from what you said on the briefing. Yeah. Yeah. So that understanding that picture, yeah. the front strut, and that picture yeah. is everything. You can remove all the instruments and still happily fly yeah. it. And and the main point for that is that. It doesn't matter what flex wing you fly, sub 70, quantum, GT450, quick R, delta jet, that picture and understanding how the controls work is all exactly the same. Yeah. How did you find the bar control? Uh, a lot more tough. Yeah. Um, yeah, than I thought when we was obviously changing pitch. Yeah. Um, but no, is yeah. it? You'll get used I to it. I think I'll get used to it, yeah. yeah. I, might, I might be a bit more bigger on the arm muscles <laughs> by the time I've done a few lessons. But. Those that, uh, that remember my, my sub-70 journey with Jim Greenshield said to me, never pick a, never pick a fight with a Fex wing, man. <laughs> so, um, so I think after this uh, this journey, you will definitely be, um, never pick a fight with, well, we don't pick a fight anyway, but uh, <laughs> don't pick a fight with Michelle. Um, and uh, so there, there, there were a few uh, squeaks, weren't there, from you? Yeah. Yeah, you you have to get used to that banking, won't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm a little bit nervous about the yeah. about the banking, yeah. but but yeah. again, it's it's good that you're looking out and, and using yeah. that lookout as well. But we need to focus on other aspects of the flying. Yeah. So. But, but when you pick that helicopter out though, that was in the distance, just a little black blob, and I'm like, yeah. how yeah. how have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to spec savers. <laughs> go to spec savers. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just one of those things. It's, it's part of the airmanship, and and there's a term in airmanship called constant aspect threat. And what can happen is that tiny dot will stay a tiny dot, a tiny dot, and then mm. suddenly increase in size very mm. quickly. Um, and so by spotting them when they're further away yeah. gives you more time to appreciate is it a threat, yeah. is it not, is it something I need to be aware of yeah. um, uh, and then dealing with other things but as you're going through your journey we will build up the layers of, of um, skills so today was just understanding how the controls affect the aircraft yeah. in pitch, roll yeah. and using the, using the throttle and then the next lesson will be um, exercise five, which is uh, taxiing the aircraft, and then also aspects of using the effects of controls for um, straight and level. Yeah. So that's uh, again, as you see, these are all slices of, of the journey. Mm. Um, so yes, today was really good. You um, you are putting correct movements into the aircraft, 
uh, which, which is great in that you're not trying to, when we're saying roll to the right, you're not suddenly, we're not rolling off to yeah. the left. You know, that was really good to see. But, uh, but there were some funny moments and hopefully I'll have uh, left them in the video for you to see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. um, but as I say, it's part of your journey and this is effectively that first real lesson in, in front of the aircraft with all, all the aspects of um, the, the controls and understanding how they work. Mm. So when will I be taking off? <laughs> <laughs> what lesson is that? Taking 12. off on my own? <laughs> Circus is 12. Circus is 12. 12 and 13. Uh, so, uh, well, we'll leave this video here. As I said, um, th this will hopefully give you a flavour. They'll, they'll be a lot shorter than the, um, the, the one I went through in my videos because so you, you'll have seen that journey. But I say we, we're going to bring out the highlights of, of Michelle's journey, the highs, the lows, many highs, lots of giggles and lots of fun along the way. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> If only that, hopefully this camera will have captured that. I think that might have to be the, uh, the thumbnail. So anyway, we'll leave this video here. Stay tuned for the next uh, in, in, uh, episode of, of Michelle's journey. And uh, let's say it's going to be fun along the way. Until next time, everybody, fly safe.